What's going on guys? All right, this is take two. I didn't clip the mirror cap back in properly the first time and pulled it off. It, luckily it stuck to the vinyl and did hit the floor. But uh, so the customer removed this mirror cap to wrap the mirror cap and the other one's wrapped in red. This was wrapped in red. Now I'm gonna remove it to wrap around the edges as well. This, was, this will fully pretty much ensure that you're never gonna have pullback if you can do that. Not all mirror caps are created equals, and not all mirrors are mirror caps. So what we want to do is start, oh yeah, we're wrapping this in vivid gloss Nardo Gray. What we want to do is start at this point right here at the very end, okay? This is our point of failure, all right? Usually on most mirrors, any edge is a point of failure, but this is usually the point of failure because everyone takes the film and stretches, stretch, 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 all the way across, boom, we have a tons of tension on the very edge and it just fails. Now with this way, we have a much wider area. On top of that, I have a corner here where I can come down this way and this way. So I can come in two different directions. Well, as opposed to this one, it's usually just kind of one direction. We don't have a lot of direction to go. What I wanna do is I wanna stretch across this body line for the most part. So we're gonna get the film nice and soft. And you really wanna do this more or less in one shot. A little challenging to do on your own sometimes, depends. We want to do this in one shot, so hopefully the mirror doesn't come off this time. No, we're good. Okay. Just like that, all right? So, this folded over, no big deal. What I want to show you here right now is when I go to heat this, what's it going to do? It's going to shrink itself around the mirror. So really I don't have to take the mirror cap off to, to do this mirror, but we're gonna do it because the customer did it and I should be doing at least as good as a customer. So, if the customer can be that thorough and take it off, then I'll be that thorough and take it off. Not that I have to. Again, look down here, we heat it. We have no tension down here at all, okay? I have a couple of wrinkles, no big deal. I'm just gonna iron them out. Perfect. And then for down here, what we want to do is we want to be extra careful and not stretch too much, but we're going to let the film shrink a little bit. There it goes. All right. And then after I let it shrink, what I want to do is bring it out and try to do as large of a piece as possible, okay? We don't want to keep stretching the film all the time. What's gonna happen down here, all right? Here's where we're starting to build up tension. So, I need to alleviate all that. Let's do that. All right, shrinking, shrinking, shrunk. Again, I'm just gonna spread out the wrinkles. And not stretch too hard to the edges. We just want it smooth. And that, my friends, is how you're out of a mirror. Cap, a mirror cap. Now, what I'm gonna do is take the mirror cap off. I'm just gonna make sure my edges are all wrinkle free. I'm going to take the mirror cap off. And I'm gonna wrap around the edges. So let's see if I can do that. It's easier, so it's easier to actually take to wrap the mirror cap while it's on the car and then remove it afterwards if you can. Unless you have some way to mount it. This comes off pretty easily. There we go. So, there we go. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw the heat gun on the floor, upside down or facing up. We're gonna heat it and bring it around all of the edges, okay? This is fully gonna ensure that I've got no failure. So and when it comes to wrapping around the edge, we don't need to leave like, we don't wanna leave like an inch over. We're just gonna leave about a quarter of an inch around the opposite side. Just ironing out the wrinkles. I got a couple, uh, there aren't many. So,
All I really want to do is go up to this inner edge. This should be fine. This should be fine. there but we're gonna be tucking it all in so no big deal now I'm gonna cut Just right in the recess. I'll go over it again with heat afterwards. Some new blades. It's getting really dull actually. If it can't cut that that easily, then it's getting dull. We're gonna go over all the edges. I just use my finger since it gets all good coverage right away. You might want to use a glove if you're doing that so you don't burn yourself. So anywhere I think there might be a little bit of excessive tension, I'm just gonna post heat it. I'm going to go over all the edges anyways. And that's it. I'm good with that. So I'm going to stick it back on. I'm going to remove the tape also while we're there. I just put the tape there in case I wanted to cut or whatever, but I didn't need to. I don't really need to use it. It's a little loose. Hmm. The screw's tight. It's a little bit loose though. Maybe it's because the cap's off. So let's fit it back on. Excellent. And the gap isn't so large. I just burned my tool pouch. <laughs> the heat gun's not even on, but I, I'm glad I didn't sit on it. Um, the edge isn't, su there isn't such a gap here where we, we would see white on the inner edge. So again, we don't have to wrap that far in, but again, it looks good. Some imperfections in the mirror, but there are imperfections in it since it is a flat part of the car that does tend to get a lot of stones hitting it all the time. Uh, I don't I have no idea how long they were wrapped for, but I don't think they were wrapped for that long. Anyways, guys, if you like the video of the mirror cap wrap, take it off, you can leave it on, you can do whatever you want. 
Again, it's gonna be a little more difficult if you leave it on, you're gonna to have to have very precise trimming because this gap is very tight. But again, it can be done. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more, I'm gonna do door handles. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, take care.